Hello, Internet. I'm Mr. Shark the Shark Puppet, and this is Shark vs. Anime. We're wrapping up the fall season this week with a review of Beyond the Boundary, because it's a cool series that we never got around to talking about. Also, none of the new winter shows have aired enough episodes for me to review them yet. So, let's do this! Beyond the Boundary, or Kyokai no Kanata, if you're a stickler for Japanese titles, is a modern-day supernatural action show. The main characters are a professional monster hunter from a cursed family, and an immortal guy with a mix of human and monster blood. So, it's fairly obvious that there's going to be an awful lot of sinister plots and intense emotional moments. Shows about the spirit world causing problems in the human world can be all over the map in terms of quality, but Beyond the Boundary is one of the better ones. It has a fun, if a bit otaku-focused, sense of humor, and there's some really good chemistry between the main characters. Also, someone must have thrown a big budget at this series because the animation looks great, especially when it comes to spell effects and magical fight scenes. But no matter how cool the heroine's power looks, do not attempt to turn your own blood into a sword. There's a lot of neat stuff in Beyond the Boundary, but the show just doesn't have time to fully develop and explain everything. We end up with a lot of unanswered questions at the end, and the series presents some cool ideas that never really get explored. It's a shame it had to wrap everything up in 12 episodes, because with more time, the writers could have really made Beyond the Boundary stand out within its genre. We probably won't get a chance to delve any deeper into the show's world, but Beyond the Boundary is still a fun, stylish show with some solid character interactions. It also makes for a good marathon session while you're waiting for the next episode of Space Dandy to come out. Speaking of new shows, I'll be back next week with a countdown of the most promising new shows for the winter season. Yay!